So here I am. Oh, tell me your name. My name is Alexa Vega McRory. All right, Alexa. So tell me, um, what's your experience volunteering at the International Christian Film and Music Festival? I've actually been uh, attending for four years, but this is my first year volunteering. And it has been such a blessing. Um, yeah, it's, it, it's so different to serve and to be part of the making of. It's just, it's just really enriching. Um, you have a more appreciation of what's going on when you get to sit and watch the film or you know host the the film area. Um, it's just there's such life. I feel like I feel like Jesus. He wants us to serve. But when you actually come to a film festival, you become part of that, part of the world. Right, right. right. Foundation of yes. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, all right. So you plan on serving next year? Yes, absolutely. And hopefully to a greater capacity. Right. I think I'm with you. Yes. <laughs> it's been a pleasure serving you. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right, so tell me who you are. My name is Brett Masters. Brett Masters, what are you, what are you doing here at IFCC? I am a guest of Pastor Kenan Edward, uh, Bowers. Okay. And uh, he invited me down uh, to this function. Very nice looking going on here. And uh, I'm with an outfit called Libertate Insurance out of downtown Orlando. And uh, I uh, serve at the pleasure of Mr. Paul Hughes, their CEO. And I'm representing that uh, business here at the film festival. Great, awesome. Well, what do you hope to get out of this film festival anyway? Well, I always like to see uh, men and women of faith. And I uh, also have a special interest in the uh, film industry. I have all my life and uh, like to meet some new people, network obviously, yep. and uh, see what we can be a part of. Awesome, I think that sounds great. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, so I am standing here, and tell me your name. I'm Brenda Ingrid. Ben Brenda. Brenda, tell me a little bit about you. What are you doing here? Uh, well, I'm here supporting uh, International Christian Film Festival, and I love what it stands for because we need more faith-based films. And, and there are tons and tons of really awesome films here today. We've been able to see some. I have seen a few. Oh, oh, yes. oh my gosh. And then now we just done uh, music. So this is the first year for them to do music and uh, and people come from all over. I mean, come from all over. It's international. Right. So, and, it, yeah. and it's all glorifying Jesus because that's what it's all about. Everything here is about Jesus. Great. Everything we do is about Jesus, right? Yes, anyway. And you got your crown on. You are the queen. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So here I am and I'm standing with Cassidy. And Sonia. And Sonia. And we're at the International Christian Film that film and Music Festival. And um, so tell me what you think so far. It's super fun. We haven't got to be around very much because we have a little one. But we're here. It's okay. so laid Last back. Little one. <laughs> yep. All right. It's so laid back. It's so comfortable. It's such an encouraging environment. It's awesome. Everybody's been so kind. We've met some great people, and we just got here yesterday. But we met. We had the most wonderful connections with people. It's been amazing. Great. So what do you expect to get out of the festival this year? Well, God gave me a passion to act, and so I've always been really skittish. And so God opened the doors like crazy. Open the doors, and we're just excited to make connections, see some opportunities come open, and just have a good time. That's our real goal. Is have a good time. Super thrilled to do the acting auditions on Saturday, but we're mostly thrilled about just who we're going to meet. We know God has lined up some divine connections for us here, and we're really excited to find out who that is. So great! All right, awesome. So. Um, look forward to hearing from you maybe on the radio show. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Awesome. awesome. All right, so here I am with Genesis. Genesis, tell me a little bit about what you've got going on. I am in the movie called Mad and Discovery. I'm playing Nephi, her best friend. And um, it premieres tomorrow night at 8. Great. All right. So what do you think's going to, what do you expect to get out of the festival? I'm expecting to meet new people, um, do some networking, and see what other things that people in this entertainment industry are doing. Right. right. Okay. Um, quick, um, this might be a little difficult, but what has been your most inspirational song like? Most inspirational song? Hmm. I guess I 
I can only imagine because I've just seen the movie. Yeah. Right, yeah. right, right. It's pretty as You know, and that, it, amazingly, that has been um, the top answer lately. Okay. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah. that's great. We're all on the same page. Right. So, all right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, so now I'm standing here. What is your name? Cameron. Cameron, thank you. Cameron, let's <laughs> that. Hi, Cameron. So, um, tell me a little bit about you. I am from New Mexico, and that's where we had shot our film that is going to be showing today at 5.30, Agnostic. Um, I'm here with the producer, director, writer. He was amazing. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be a good, good time. So what is it about a little bit? It's kind of like a modern day, he likes to describe it as like a modern day Moses in the burning bush where um, there was this athlete, he had everything going for him, uh, goes to play collegiate, ends up getting hurt, comes back, gets into drugs and alcohol and like the wrong fruit, um, loses his way from God. And then at the end of the movie you see him just crying out like he's about to die, he's tied to this rock, and he ends up finding God again and, and getting saved. And, that is Find his awesome. way back to God. It's a little that's edgy, it. but I think that's what people need to see. Right, right. Yeah, and yeah grab them. Grab them. Exactly. Right. Yes. So, um, where can we find you if you wanted to look you up? Um, I, it's just my name, so at Cameron Blackwood, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. There's apparently no one else named that, so it works out perfectly oh, for me. Oh, nice. perfect. Yes, ma'am. Yep. Yes. And then my website, um, CameronBlackwood.com, is coming soon, and I'm in the middle, I'm just finishing up a documentary that I'm doing myself. It's about my life, the ups and downs, um, it is pretty intense as well, but I think at the end I want to show people that there's hope. And that even though there is pain and people go through tragedy, but there's always like God's always there for you. There's, there's always a way out, exactly. a way where He turns it around. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. And uses it for possible. Yeah, that's right. All right. Well, thank you, Gary. Thank you. Okay, so here I am, and I'm standing with. Tell me your name. Ernest Hunter. Ernest. From HB Music and Arts in Winter, Virginia. Yeah, all right. Yes, yes. So, tell me a little bit about you. Well, uh, we're here with, um, at the International Christian Film Festival with our music video, Take the Gospel to the World. It's going to be screening today at, I think, 6 o'clock. And um, we, we are producers, radio announcers, we are uh, 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 directors. We have another film, a movie out called Caught Up, Memoirs of a Preacher's Wife as well. So. Ooh, that sounds yeah. interesting, too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, what do you hope to get out of this festival this year? Well, um, I'm, I'm, uh, a win would be nice, but I uh, network. I, 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 I really uh, network with a whole lot of folks here, so that that, that has been awesome. Meeting new people, right? And uh, yes. yeah, building friendships and relationships. Awesome, yeah. very good. Right, thank you very much. Thank you as well. Hi, Ellen, I found him. Hey, All right. what's up, guys? How are you? How are you? How are ya? All right, so tell me your name. My name is Ramsey Rizard. And what do you do? So I am a TV host. Host. I host events. We're carpet hosting. I do a lot of hosting. Um, I write music. I'm a singer as well. I'm a motivational speaker and a life coach. Awesome. I do a lot. I do a lot. But it's it's good though because it falls into the realm of entertainment. I mean, that's what you do. You entertain to inspire people and encourage people and empower people. Great. Yeah. All right. So what are you here for at um, ICFF? Uh, ICFF, what I'm doing here, I have a one-on-one -on -one segment in the mirror, the reflection show. And I'm catching people reflection, uh, whether it's their life or their experience here at the International Christian Film Festival. And it's cool because you're meeting people who are inspired to do better for the world. You know? right, right. And that's a beautiful thing. Awesome. Yes. Very good. I'm excited. Especially it's only day two, so I could imagine what day three and day, uh, day four or five is going to be. Right, right. Yes. yes. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it too, actually. <laughs> hey, what's up guys? What's up? Just want to give you guys a quick shout out. Yep. She was stopping me on my way going to get lunch. And she said, I got to record you. I got to record you. I said, okay, cool. Let's do it now. She said she grabbed her phone and here we are. That's right. All right. So we're looking forward to hearing more about what you're doing. Yes. So. yes. All right. So you'll be able to find him, uh, this video, on my Laura Lee, uh, nope, my USA Queen Lifetime Reporter page. And, um, and on the Madeline Momery Show, you'll be able to hear another interview. Yes, right? yes, 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 right. yes, yes. Great.
All right, so here we go. So I'm um, Chris, right? Yes. All right, I got a name. So um, I'm here with Chris. Chris, tell me a little bit about you. Um, I'm a filmmaker from Central Florida, so I'm not too far away from here. Okay, um, And we have a short film here. It's called The Covet. It'll be tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. It'll be showing. Okay. It is a thriller. So it's uh, PG-13. So if it's like little kids, my kid, I have three kids. They've seen it, but um, some kids might get a little scared. So, okay, so. Yeah, there's some scary images. Right. Nothing crazy. So if they're sensitive, you know, don't, yes. don't bring them. But um, otherwise, get a babysitter, yeah, right? Yeah. So um, what? Where can I mean? Is it? Is this the only place we can find it? Can we find it somewhere else? Right now, it's the only place because I've got it going through all the other film festivals. Ooh, so, yeah. So. This isn't the only one we're submitted for. So until all of those have run, it probably won't be public. Okay. So the only if you want to see it is tomorrow night. All right. So. You, or you gotta wait. All right. So you definitely want to get out here tomorrow night to see it. What's the name? The Covet. The Covet. All right. Nominated for best director. Nice. So, Good job. And um, we had a really small crew. I think the thing that's most amazing is, as far as technology goes, it's just really open up a lot of opportunities for people who don't have a lot of money on a small budget can still produce something really nice if you just work hard and practice with the gear. It's not always about expensive gear, it's it's about knowing how to use that gear creatively and see the best of its full potential. So, right, yeah, because yeah. that story is important. Yeah. That displays talent for sure. Right. All right, well thank you very much Chris.